Hello, I'm Merle from Merle's Kitchen. I'm going to make a peach blossom cake today, which has been a favourite in my family for many years. We start off with 190 grams of butter, a cup and a quarter of plain sugar, three quarters of a cup of milk, a teaspoon of vanilla essence, a cup and a half of plain flour, three quarters of a cup of corn flour, a teaspoon and a half of baking powder, a pinch of salt and beaten egg whites. And we mustn't forget our pink food colouring. The most important thing about this cake is that you don't have egg yolks, you only beat the egg whites. That also helps to make your butter mixture lighter. The first thing we need to do is sieve together the flour, corn flour, baking powder and salt. Just sieving all the ingredients together now so they'll be ready to add to the mixture after I've creamed the butter and sugar. Sieve it twice. What I'm going to do now is add a teaspoon of vanilla to the butter and sugar so it will mix in as the butter and sugar is creaming. Halfway through I add half the milk which helps the sugar to dissolve quicker. I want the egg whites to be beaten in the mix master because the mix master fluffs them up better. While the egg whites are being beaten I will mix the dry ingredients into the cream mixture. Now that I've, I've beaten the egg whites, I'm about to add it to the, the other mixture. Just fold, fold it into the, into the creamed and floured mixture. When I first started to do this recipe, it really surprised me when my grandmother was guiding me because I kept saying, but the egg whites won't go into the mixture. And she used to answer me and say, just keep trying and they will, and they do. You do what your grandma tells you. <laughs> the next step is to add the milk. If the milk mixture goes a little curdly, once you've added the milk, don't worry because it takes up as it's been cooked. Now, now the egg white, as you can see, is all mixed in. I'm just taking out some mixture out of the main bowl to put in the small bowl so I can colour it. I need it to be a pale pink. Pale pink is to represent the actual colour of a live peach blossom flower. I then add one to two drops of, of the pink colouring. Don't make it too pink because a true peach blossom isn't real pink. I have greased and floured the tin on the sides, but on the bottom I always use a piece of baking paper to make sure that the cake doesn't stick to the bottom of the tin, which it has done for me at times, and I've had half a cake in the tin and half a cake out. <laughs> this is the part of cooking the, this cake that is fiddly because I take some of the white mixture and put it around the edge of the inside of the tin. Now the reason I've done that is because I'm putting a ring of pink next to the white. I fill that hole in the middle with the white mixture. You then cover the whole lot with the white mixture. The next thing, with the pink that you have left in your little bowl, in the centre, I then cover the whole thing with white. Once the mixture is spread evenly in the tin, I bang it on the, on the bench because it helps the mixture to settle in the tin. And once the heat hits the mixture, the bubbles will rise and burst. It's time now to put it in to cook. I've just mixed my icing up now, which is a cup and a half of icing sugar mixture with 10 grams of, of butter melted in about a tablespoon of hot water. Add that to the powdered mixture. And I've just mixed it up together, ready to put on the cake. If you don't leave it so it's completely cold, the icing will run off. And as the icing sets, it will just come to the edge of your cake. Finished production. Mm -hmm.